guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be how I um, lay down my frontals um, so I'm going to be wearing um, a lace front wig that I actually did myself I made the wig myself and um, it's actually some hair that I reviewed on my channel last week um, it's called Miss Here Hair she um, they are a Aliexpress vendor I got four bundles and a frontal. Um, I got two 18 inches and two 16 inches. And I'm just going to show you guys how I laid this wig down. Um, it's really not that complicated. The only complication that I would say is the glue that I use. Because the glue that I use has got to be glue. And I'm sorry not to really like it as much. But um, I'm going to show you guys the wig. You guys probably recently seen this wig on me last week when I had did my initial review on this hair so this is a um, a full unit that I customized myself I also also colored this unit myself um, and all that information as far as the color and how I did it how I got it to this color and all that jazz about this hair um, is in that video so if you um, if you're interested in looking at how I got the color and everything like that then just click on that video it's about two videos before this one so I'm going to be wearing a side part and I've already kind of customized the parting how I want it and right now I'm just gonna kind of show you how it looks um, but I do need to flat iron this hair so I'm gonna do that as well but let me just show you all how it looks once I put it on um, I do have an elastic band I put those in pretty much all of my wigs because I feel like that my wig is not secure enough unless it has an elastic band so okay okay guys so I do suggest that you wear some type of stocking cap before you put on the wig I never do but I believe it's more helpful if you that way your real hair won't be in the way I'm sorry um, and it won't give you any problems like mine did because as I'm trying to lay this wig down I was having some issues because my real hair kept kind of pulling up I only had like um, my hair just pulled to the back in a little ponytail like a lower part ponytail so I suggest anytime you wear a wig just put on a cap before that way it won't bother you once you put your wig on kind of add your baby hair or whatever you want to um you want to do far as the front part of the hair of the front too but what i'm going to do because i really need to do this i really need to uh flat iron this hair so that's what i'm going to do and then i'm going to show you guys how how i lay it down and then i'll come back okay guys so I was able to go ahead and flat iron my wig so now I know my hair looks crazy but I didn't feel like braiding it and I really want to show you guys how I lay down this frontal so I just kind of put it to the back and pinned up my ponytail with some um, barbie pin I take my guys to be glue and then I'm going to apply this around the perimeter of my head. So it's going to be a little above my edges.
right, so at this point, you guys, I started to get kind of irritated because as you can see right here, it starts to look like crusty. A lot of people use the Got To Be Glue gel in the black bottle, but that just do not do anything for me. It don't hold my hair down. It doesn't do anything. Even, I know it's the gel, but even if I was to put it on for a ponytail, I just could not do it because it leaves the same crust. Like, I don't understand. So, if you guys could recommend some good glue that won't leave me crusty at my edges, then I would love it because I need something that will work for me. Um, sometimes I can do my wigs, you guys, and it don't be like that. And sometimes I can put this same glue on and it just looks a mess. So, I, I don't know if it's a whole finger thing. I don't know what it is, but help me help me help me so as you guys can see right here i'm just getting irritated because i'm like uh it's starting to look white it's starting to look crusty and i had to go in the bathroom take a rag kind of wet it a little bit like i just just couldn't get my life together but i'm gonna get it just keep watching okay guys so i've had this on my head for about five six minutes you don't necessarily have to leave it on for 10 minutes. You can. I have before, but the longer the better. But I'm just going to take it off because... Okay. So, this is how it's laying. because I had some flyaways at the top. So what I did was I took some mousse and just put it in my hand and did it like this and it pretty much just laid all the flyaways down. And that's all I did for that. I did flat iron it just the top again just a little bit but that was about it. So yeah, that's it. I will be rocking this hair for a while. So be ready to see me with this hair in my head for the next couple weeks, okay? It looks so cute with my nightgown on. I have on my leopard <laughs> nightgown dress. But, yeah. So, this is it, you guys. I'm so sorry. I had a lot of difficulties with this video. I don't know why. I don't know. It's just, it's really hard to try to do your hair or do something where the, you're trying to still be in frame at the same time. So, yeah. This is it. Um, all I did was... I did put a little bit of layers in the front, um, in the front of the hair, so it's kind of short up here, and then it gets down and it gets longer. So this is it, and so this is so yeah, you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel as always. Comment if you need to, and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And I will keep these videos coming your way. Also, I have been doing some little pranks on my mom, and I really like to prank her because she's just so funny to do pranks on. So, those will be frequently. <laughs> yep, so that's it, you guys. I want to thank you guys again for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.